Good everybody, it's your boy Nat and we're back another video in the channel today guys. If you aren't already, please make sure to like and subscribe, share the channel, it helps the channel grow and I appreciate it so so much. And yeah guys, so in today's video, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the picture, today is about the sneaker levitating stand that I always have in my videos. I've been getting a lot of questions on how it works on my TikTok a lot and a few people on my YouTube channel so today I was like, you know what? I found the time to do a little video about how it works, how to set it up, you know, the costing of it and all that stuff. So let's get into it guys. So here is the box. By the way guys, I saw uh, these sneaker levitating stands. If you guys want them, please make sure to use the link in my bio, not my bio, the link in the video down below where it has a link to my sneaker page where uh, you can buy one of these guys. But this is how the ones I saw look like they come. As you can see, it says magnetic uh, levitating display oh I say stand but it says display it comes in a white box like this it's a really like honestly a really nice box you know it's quite heavy and this is how it opens open up to the front like this so let's start off so the first thing you get when you uh, get a box is you get a little instruction menu and warnings and all that kind of stuff so you guys can see and in this picture here the drone 4 uh, as, a, as a logo here so that's what the first thing you get when you get the box move this aside so and then you get three different things so you get a pink bag like this and in the bag you get a little magnetic weights which I'll explain a little bit further but basically these are used to uh, counteract the weight of the shoe if the shoe is too light so to bring like a weight like to make sure the shoe is balanced you need to use magnets which are weights just to make the shoe a bit heavier so it can you know, uh, float nicely so that's the first thing you get and the second thing you get is obviously a charger. You get a charger in here. Let me take it out for you. You get a little charger in this box. And again, by the way, if this box doesn't look brand new, because this is my levitating stand that I always have in the videos, as you guys seen before. So obviously things have been opened. I'm just I just really put everything together to show you how they look. So you get a little charger like that. Because here. And then over here. Over here you get a uh, scale. Uh, in the instruction menu, it basically tells you uh, that you know to make sure the shoe is the right weight. It tells you what weight the shoe needs to be between to uh, to you know to float. So you're supposed to put the shoe here with the magnets and see how much the shoe weighs. But to be honest, I don't really use this. But let me just open up for you guys anyway. So yeah, that's a little scale there. Uh, well protected. So if you guys you know want to make sure the, the, the weight of the shoe is correct use the skill here but I haven't used it since I've gotten it because you know you can just test it out you know and then you get this little uh what do you call this shoe horn for the toe area which I'll explain what you use it for and then you get this and then you get this is what the most important thing which is the strong magnet which you put at the top of the shoe or at the heel of the shoe. Usually also this does come in a pink bag like this one but obviously because this is my one I misplaced this pink bag and I couldn't find it, so this comes with its own little pink bag, but I don't have that bag with me. And you get this little uh, foam pad to help you place the shoe in the magnet if you're not very good at it. But once you get used to putting the shoe, you don't really need this. In the instructions too, it has all the items they come with. So it comes with five marble balls, uh, one dust bag, one strong magnet, the power cable, instructions, this uh, sneaker display. And obviously the main thing in the box, you can take this thing out nicely. This thing not easy to take out. I won't lie, this is a lot harder than I remember because I haven't put this thing in here like forever. Got it out. So here it is, the levitating display. This is how it comes with. You get two options for this thing. You get a white one, which is what I got here, and you get a black one. But when it's black, the, the outside part here is black. But here yeah, it's still the same color. But so I got the white one because I think it just matches better with my room also because my room is mainly white. So I got this one, and then yeah. So let's get it plugged up and ready to go. And for the shoe that I'm using in today's demonstration is the Jordan One High True Blue, which I made a video uh, two videos ago. And for once, I get to use the pop-up link. So use the pop-up link. I think it's this side of the video. Click that to get a review on 
these Jordan 1 uh, high true blues. So yeah, these are the shoes we're using today in the demonstration. So I'm gonna get them out for you. So the first thing you wanna do is, with the uh, levitating stand, is to pick a shoe. So I'm gonna pick the, doesn't really make a difference to me. So I'm just gonna take the right shoe. Actually, let me do the left. You take out the stuffing on the inside of the shoe. And that's where this little thing comes in. Cause you put that inside the shoe for the toe area. Okay. Then you take the magnet, which I left back in the box. You take the magnet, you put that here. Remember, also make sure to keep this away from electronics. Cause I actually broke a computer of mine because the magnet somehow like touched the computer. This is a very strong magnet. So you don't want this near like any electronic or any like magnetic material that you don't want it to stick to. And then you also get out the weights. So the first thing you do is, well, I already know what I need to put. So I usually put like three or two uh, weights for my shoes, because my shoe size is size seven. So I usually put two, start off with two, just put this back in here. See, as you can see, this guy's on, has own little light, which is a really nice display piece, the reason why I got it. So now that it's on, the the, the, the shoe tree thing that there is in, what do they even call it actually? Yeah, it's called a shoe tree. Oh yeah, so it's actually called a shoe tree, so the shoe tree thing is inside. And now that it's on, there's two magnets inside. You put the strong magnet at the top of the shoe, which is a heel. And then right over here, you can't really see it, but there's a little like magnet here. You can see it, it's, it's, it's behind this plastic. We can see it from the naked eye. And then you put your fingers there and you put other two fingers on top. That's how I do it. And then you do that, you can, you'll feel the pull. You feel the pull and then slowly let it out. Slowly. And there you go guys. And you obviously just spin on your hand like that and it'll spin on for hours and hours. So yeah, there you go guys, that's how it works. It's literally not magic, it literally just works on magnets. And as I was saying before, magnet balls are used to uh, as a weight because some shoes are heavier than others or lighter. So you need to counteract the pulling strength with the with the weights. So that's what that is for. And then let me take out this little uh, foam pad. So basically this is for people who aren't very good at using their hands. What you're supposed to do is you take the weight and you're supposed to use this, this foam pad. Well, I use this side, I don't know why. You're supposed to use this one side of the pad and then you're supposed to like slide out like that and use this thing. But I don't need it, so it just chills in the box. And yeah, that guys, there you go. This is how this locating stand works. And also, there's different models to this stand, just that I don't sell or have them. But they're ones that have speakers. And there's ones that also have like the different changing lights here, but I didn't get them because I don't think it's gonna be worth it. But yeah, uh, so this one that I have it just has the the magnet and the light, and it, it really does look nice, especially if your room doesn't have like a light in here at night. This thing looks crazy. It's a really cool display piece to have, and if you got like new kicks, like I got these recently, you want to display your new shoe, you put it here and it let it spin. One thing I wanna show you is I I recommend you guys leave your shoe in here for like overnight. We can. But in South Africa, we have a thing called low shading, where they cut power like for two hours, like four times a day, which is not even fun. So basically what happened is, when electricity goes out, let me just unplug it here, the magnet becomes like extremely strong because no, no electricity flowing through it, and now like the shoe's stuck here. And it's not bad, it's not gonna damage your shoe, but I just wouldn't recommend it, so then. Now you see when electricity comes back, you have to manually take it out again, and then, as I was saying, when electricity comes back, you have to take it out and then manually put it back again. And I was saying guys, if you guys want one, make sure to use the link in the description guys to go purchase one or you guys can just message me and I'll switch you guys with one if you want. The price is one of these I'm selling for 4,000 Rand, which is for people in South Africa. People overseas can probably get them, you know, where you guys live. But again, really cool uh, display piece, probably one of my favorite things to own. And also before I go guys, if you guys do want to see a review on this Jordan 1 High True Blue, I'll put the link in the description. And also I'll use a pop-up link, I think it's on this side if I'm not mistaken. For the link to the video, so check it out, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll do a tutorial on how to operate and how this thing works. If you guys did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.